Hey what's up guys, I'm Luke and I'm going to be unboxing the Moto Z Force Droid Edition. This is the Verizon exclusive one, not the GSM Unlocked. So to start things off we're going to simply slide this black cover off the box, set that aside, and we'll remove the lid, and there's the phone. So we'll just pop that phone out, and there it is, peel off the plastic. Love that sound. Then we will turn it on. While it's turning on, we will continue to unbox the phone. So next we pull this flap out. And it looks like we have a style cover. Looks like a wood one maybe. Go ahead and peel that off. And pop that on the phone. It's pretty easy. Gets where the camera bump. Pull that tab. Looks like probably just boring booklets of how to use the phone. Uh, mute your phone. Looks like there's a micro SD card slot, SIM card slot, same thing. And customer safety information. We're not going to read that, of course. Uh, then we have the charger. It's like a huge charger. Wow, that is a beefy charger. Looks like it's 30 watt. That's crazy. It's USB-C. Only port on the phone. Uh, next, we have a SIM tray remover. And get to the micro SD card slot also. Put that back in there. And we have a USB C to headphone jack because this phone does not have a headphone jack. Put that aside. Okay. I'll be back in a moment when I get the phone set up. Okay, I just finished setting up the phone so. Fingerprint. Wow, that was fast. Oh, we just restarted. Type that in. Okay, so here's the home screen. Standard launcher. One thing I did notice is the app drawer is not quite the same as stock Android, but pretty close. And just letting you know, this is not a home button. If you rest your finger on it, the screen goes out. So it's kind of like a power button almost. And then you just touch it really, really fast. Um, one thing I did notice up here, the settings is there, but not there. That's kind of annoying. Just stupid little thing that annoys me. Um, we'll go ahead and run a benchmark. We'll run an Antutu benchmark. Okay, looks like it's going. <clears throat> speaker on this phone is right here. There's just one speaker for calls and audio. Kind of nice it's front facing though. Pretty smooth graphics. This is the most graphic intense one usually. Pretty smooth, actually. Mm -hmm. 
Usually this is pretty jerky on like a Nexus 6P or something. It's pretty smooth. Okay, well, the benchmark finished and we got 151,000. That is pretty good. We can check out versus some other phones. Um, okay, so there's like the iPhone 7. Got 17,000. Um, let's see, like the S7. Let's see if we can find that. S7 is about the same score. Quite a bit faster than the iPhone 6S Plus. So, got a pretty good benchmark. One thing I do love about this phone, though, is this fingerprint sensor. It is extremely fast. Like, if I just barely touch it, it goes on immediately. Um, next, we can go to the camera. Not my favorite camera. One thing, though, I do enjoy is it's set at 16 by 9 ratio automatically does reduce your uh, megapixel down to 16.9 though so you can re you can bring it up to 21 but the only disadvantage with that though is then you get like the you don't get the full screen effect um, also one thing that I kinda thought was slightly strange I mean it's not bad necessarily is it has a front-facing flash so like if you take a selfie you get a front-facing flash just kind of a weird thing that they added. Um, well, that's my first impressions and unboxing of the Moto Z Force. Uh, for a full review, look up um, on my channel and there will be a video soon. Subscribe for more videos like this. Like, like if you like this video. Thanks for watching.